Welcome dear viewers for visiting my channel. The official race will probably come down to citizens in eight expresses that stay cutthroat, as per the latest evaluations by the Cook Political Report. North Carolina moved to shot in the dark from rest conservative on Tuesday, while Minnesota and New Hampshire were moved from shelter likely equitable. There are numerous combinations of states that have the potential to elevate either former President Donald J. Trump or Vice President Kamala Harris above the required 270 electoral votes. In the event that the two applicants win every one of the states in their strong, reasonable and lean classes, the race would boil down to the seven shot in the dark states in yellow. Ms. Harris would require 44 constituent votes from the shot in the dark states to win. In 2020, Joseph R. Biden Jr. narrowly defeated Mr. Trump in five out of seven states rated as toss-ups. Obviously, a portion of the states right now evaluated as inclining or logical majority rule or conservative could likewise become an integral factor. Both Harris and Trump need 270 electoral votes to win, but they probably have states where they can count on getting at least 200. Let's focus on seven important states in the middle where the vote was closest in 2020. Polls will change between now and election day, so the final results won't always be the same. However, Harris would obtain the required 270 electoral votes if she won each state in which she currently leads in our polling averages.